Hi everyone, this is Lauren with Triple C, and in this video, we are going to talk about managing your Triple C Direct events. By now, your Triple C Direct form should have been added to your website or any other web pages or social media platforms. Once this form is filled out by your guest, a notification on this inquiry will be sent to any Triple C user who is set to receive them. When you log into Triple C, you will see a Triple C Direct inquiry showing under new Triple C Direct events here on the dashboard. We can see that there is a Triple C Direct inquiry submitted by Adam Brody, which we have quick options here to accept or reject. A Triple C user's access to Triple C Direct events is going to be the same access that they have for regular events. For instance, if a user role allows you to only view events, you're going to have that same access with Triple C Direct events. For users that have the appropriate permissions, you are going to be able to select this inquiry from the dashboard. And when you click accept or reject, the guest will receive an automatic email, one that you would have set up in your Triple C Direct form settings. Once we accept the inquiry, you will be prompted to run the credit card on file to pay the deposit amount. This card will remain on file should you need to run it for the remaining balance or any additional payments. Any accepted Triple C Direct events will default to a definite status, but this can be adjusted as you're used to by editing the event and manually adjusting the status. You'll notice that once you accept a Triple C Direct inquiry, a set of documents is automatically created and added to this event with all of the guests' menu selections reflected. You have the option in settings to automatically share documents with your customer once you accept the inquiry, making the process even more seamless for you and your team. Should you need to add any notes to your documents, click into the Triple C Direct template to do so. If you need to make adjustments to the menu selections, head into the menu selections tab on this event. Here, you can make adjustments to the guest's initial selection by editing or deleting. You also have the option to add new menu selections. And when we click on this button, you will see all of your Triple C Direct menu items and packages as options to add. Click into the Payments tab and add any additional payments to this event. If you would like to run the card that's on file, click on the gear icon to the right of an added payment and choose Pay. Select Credit Card as your method of payment and the card that the guest authorized will appear for you to run. If you're processing a payment outside of Triple C, you can choose any additional payment methods from this dropdown to manually mark the payment as paid. Once this event has all of the menu selections added and the payments have been processed, edit the event and adjust the status to close. Now you can accurately report on this Triple C Direct event alongside your other events in Triple C. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this feature or need any help implementing it, please reach out to our support team by clicking the Help Questions button in the top right corner of any page in Triple C.